こんにちは。BR 日本語の萌えです。今日は、Today I want to talk about the Japanese grammar and a similarity to how Yoda speak and learning about the different types of verbs and conjugation. So let's get it started. May the force be with you for your Japanese study. こんにちは。BR 日本語の萌えです。今日はね、Today we're going to be talking about exciting things called verbs. Verbs in Japanese is 動詞。動詞。Let's talk about three different types of 動詞。Whew, exciting! Yay! Are you excited?、Um, before we get to the 動詞、let's talk about how Japanese people talk and a little bit of cultural, cultural difference in when you are having conversation with a Japanese person versus English speaking persons. Because of the sentence structures of two languages are quite different, we tend to see a different attitude towards listening to the other person. I think that English speakers tend to have more rhythmical Conversation as opposed to Japanese people's conversation are a little bit slower. I think it is due to the grammatical differences in these two languages. Interesting thing, Yoda <laughs> from Star Wars, he actually speaks more like Japanese. So he put his verb at the end, if you know how Yoda s p e a k which is the same as Japanese people. Whereas English one, English people, English speakers put verb in the second. So, for example, I eat a donut. I, who is performing the action, eat the verb, comes straight after the I. So it's like I eat. You can almost interrupt. I, I eat what? What did you eat? <laughs> Where is this? Structure. But in Japanese, for example, if I said, I forest yesterday, mushroom, and you still don't know what I did, ate. So the verb c o m e at the end, so it's unveiling the story. Oh, okay, you ate mushroom in the forest yesterday. It kind of goes backwards. So that's how the Japanese、uh, sentences work as opposed to English sentences. English sentences are most straightforward I eat. And then there's more information comes after that is really efficient. And Japanese, Japanese grammar is a little bit more like a storytelling. It's like I yesterday in the forest, the mushroom ate. <laughs> so it can be. I, if you listen to Japanese people talking, Japanese people listening to an English speaker, they're kind of trying to listen until the end of the sentence because what we are used to is to listen to the end so we can figure out the sentence, not realizing the sentence. Most of the sentence is done in the first half, half of the sentence in English. So, very interesting cultural difference, probably due to a grammatical difference in two languages. But this is just my observation. So, let's have a look at the verbs today and let's get it started. Okay, talking about verbs, there's three different types of verbs in Japanese. Number one is ru verb, number two is called u verb. And number three is called irregular verb. So, what is all this n e w verb, u verb, irregular verb? Let's talk about dictionary form first. So, in English, if you are looking for, pick up your dictionary, and if you are looking for a word, eating, for example, what kind, how do you look up your dictionary? Do you look up eating or do you look up ate or do you look up eaten? I think you would look up eat, E A T. That is your dictionary from the original form of the verb that is inside of your dictionary. 
then you probably have the conjugation pattern like eat, ate, eating, eaten, have eaten, all of that in the dictionary. But the main, the original form of the verb is eat, E-A-T. So, we have the same thing in Japanese, the dictionary form, the original form of the verb. So, the, with the verb, original form of the verb is ending with hiragana ru. That's why it's called the verb. Simple enough. For example, we're going to learn four different types of the verbs in this chapter. Number one, taberu, my favorite, to eat. Taberu. So you can see ru is at the end. And number two, miru. It's to watch or to see. And again, ru at the end. And okiru, to get up or wake up. Neru, to sleep. All of those verbs had ru at the end. That's why it's called ru verb. And as a Japanese learner, ru verb is our friend because it's easiest to conjugate. What is conjugate? Conjugation is to changing that form of the original verb to express different meaning. As I mentioned before, eat become ate if it's a past tense. Eaten, have eaten or eating. It changes the format of the verb from the original form to different types. That's called conjugation. So, in Japanese, the verb is the easiest way to conjugate verbs, so we like it. But unfortunately, <laughs> there is less of the root verb and more of the u verb. U verb is the next verb we're going to study and it's a little bit harder to conjugate. Okay, but don't worry, we'll go through that. So, root verb. Root verb, if you think the root verb or any verb, root verb, if you think root verb as a leg of pieces, Taberu. Take the ru off. Separate the two pieces, tabe and ru, like the Lego pieces, and replace with mas. Tabe mas. Tabe mas is a polite form. Outside polite form or mas form um, of the to eat. In English, you don't have differentiation of eat or the polite eat. It's just eat. But in Japanese, we have taberu. Tabemasu is a polite form. For example, donuts. Donuts o taberu. I eat donuts. Donuts o tabemasu. I eat donuts. In English, they are both same sentences. But tabemasu is politer in Japanese than taberu. Okay, so I put this O particle here. O particle indicates what the verb is doing, affecting. So, taberu is to eat. What are you eating? A donut. In English, you don't have this particle, but we need this particle to make the connection between the subject and the verb that you're using. Donuts o tabemasu. Negative. If I'm on diet, I'm not eating donuts. Donuts o tabemasen. So taberu, original form of the verb, take the ru off, replace with masen to make negative tabemasen. Okay, so that's the basic of the how to use verb, how to conjugate that basic ru verb into polite form a negative form. Interesting thing about Japanese is we don't have future tense. Yes, we don't have will or going to. We have similar things but we don't have I will eat. I am going to eat. I, we just simply say I eat but then you specify the time. I eat it tomorrow. Tomorrow is ashita. Ashita, donuts o tabemasu. I eat donut tomorrow. 
I will eat donut tomorrow. So there is no future tense as in will in Japanese. Okay, so let's learn four different verbs today. Taberu is one of them, and second one is to watch something. YouTube. YouTube o miru. Miru is your verb to watch. Let's, let's conjugate that to polite form. YouTube o mimas. YouTube o mimas. So it's the verb you take the ru off and replace with mas. Make it into a polite form. YouTube o mimas. But if I don't want to watch it, YouTube o mimasen. Negative. YouTube o mimasen. O is very soft and often you can't hear very well, but it's there. <laughs> it's just soft being said. YouTube o mimasen. Okay, so we got two verbs. Let's talk about let's talk about get up and sleep. Okiru and neru. Neru is to sleep. So I don't need to use o particle in this case. I just sleep. So I don't need to indicate the relationship with the subject. You can indicate the location, like I sleep in bed. Beto de neru. De particle is in or at in English. So, neru, let's make that neru into polite form. Nemas. <laughs> Nemas. Let's try again. Nemas. Okay, it's during the day, so I'm not gonna sleep. Nemasen, negative. Nemasen. In the morning, okimas. Okimas. Ii tenki desu na. It's really nice weather. Okay, to wake up is okiru. Again, it's a do verb. So take the do off, replace with must, and make it into a polite form. Okimas. When you wake up, you open the curtain. Okimas. Okimas. But maybe you had a late night and you don't want to wake up. Okimasen. Negative. Okimasen. Okay, so that's your basic four verb conjugations that we studied. Taberu, to eat. Miru, to watch. Both of the verbs need o particle and things that that verb is affecting. For example, donuts o taberu, terebi o miru. And we also learn okiru, to get up and neru to sleep. These things, they don't need o particle because that action is not affecting anything else apart from yourself. Okay, so today we learned the first part of the verb, do verb, and I'll see you at next video about the u verb and how to conjugate the u verb. Thanks for watching. Matane! If you like to practice, please write down a sentence using these four verbs that we learned. Taberu, miru, neru, okiru. And write down in the comment below and I'll have a look at that for you and correct it if there's any mistake. And I look forward to checking out your comment. Thanks for watching. Matane! Jane!